Follow my keep profession on the key possession. I'm OD aggressive when I run the rock. See me flexing in the winning section. If they press a bombing on them off the top, slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. Toss a bullet, hit you in the chest, and send a burn across your face from mind to slot. Please don't test them, I bring heat and brush it. Have my hit or brush, you move you off the spot. Slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the college cheese and Madden cheese, as always. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys one of the most explosive plays in both games out of my brand new Alabama offensive ebook. The formation itself is the Gun Trips TE, and the play itself is going to be the PA Shot Wheel. Now, this particular series of plays or this formation has a ton of great plays. It's one of the best formations to use in Madden every single year. A lot of pro players like to use the Gun Trips TE. It's in a lot of different playbooks. I'll have this popping up on screen every single. Uh, a play that this is found in in college i'll have it popping up on screen right now every playbook you can find this play in and also in, in, in madden i'm gonna have every single playbook in madden that you can use popping up on screen right now so if you guys use any of these playbooks you can use these plays i also previewed this live in gameplay about two weeks back so if you guys want to see some gameplay footage of this i'll have that on screen at the end of the video so stick around for that i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna show you guys how to score one play touchdown against every single defense in both games but first, I'm going to show you guys how this works against random plays. But before I do, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. If you need more help or more money plays, you can download this or any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pin comment. So for this play here, the left side is the one play touchdown side. All these routes here are going to score one play touchdowns against specific types of defenses. So I don't really want to mess with that too much because obviously that's going to be part of the read structure. But if I think my opponent is in a zone coverage, I could always put the tight end on a corner route and the running back on a out route and that'll be a really good man series as well or if i wanted to come the other way i could put the tight end on a drag and put the running back on a texas route that's probably the two best options i'm going to give myself four high low check downs coming the other direction as you can see right here we just have to work that high low between the tight end and the, and the running back pretty much every single time and no matter what i do this is going to be um, a good look this is going to be something where the running back's pretty much going to get open all the time you can see here this guy dropped back on the running back but i get that corner out a couple of different things you can do like i said that's that's just something you can do for a check down series on the right side because you can see they're not really doing anything but the left side is going to be the one play touchdown side so let's go on this back out and i'll show you guys some one play touchdowns starting off with cover two now if you're not good at making reads that's not going to affect you at all because a lot of these plays require no reads so on a play like this i don't have to make any adjustments it's cover two so i'm going to watch this y receiver here he's going to pull the mid read and then i'm going to wait for this x receiver here to split the safeties as you can see we get a very easy one play touchdown with no adjustments at all in Madden, it'll work the same way, but if you want a bigger uh, lane to throw through when it comes to the safeties, just put the A tight end on a streak and motion them out. Works the same way in college. Uh, this will pull the safeties apart better as they're programmed to react to those specific receivers, and you can see how I have a much bigger throwing lane to throw through those two safeties. And I also noticed that the B receiver does a really good job of getting open underneath. As you can see, this cornerback here matches uh, pretty much all the way up the field, giving you a really easy throw to the outside. As you'll see here on these last two plays here, if I just basically bullet and pass lead away from that cornerback, I can get a very big play. Next up in Madden, we'll do cover three. On this play, you really have two options. The Y receiver and the X receiver can bo both beat this play if you put the uh, B receiver on a streak and you can see how this one's going to be open first so this is probably the better of the two but if for whatever reason you don't throw that with good timing you could also throw to the x receiver so we'll go ahead and we'll do that one more time like i said i'm just basically which whatever one i see first because that right there i had a guy right in my face had to throw a little bit early so you're not always going to be able to wait for that other receiver but this is a very easy timing throw and as i as i like to roll out a lot just to use that uh, that double with the tight end there and you can see how both these receivers can score very easily and that's the same setup for cover three in college, but the setup for cover three match can be very different as this play can beat cover three match all by itself. So let's go and let's pick cover three match. 
For cover three match, you can run it the same way. You can do the same streaking B receiver. You'll notice how the Y receiver, the X receiver, these guys still get open the same way. It's just now I have somebody following me. But it's even easier to once again just leave the play alone. As you'll notice that the B receiver, because of the matching principles, will get wide open once he turns up the field for another very easy one play touchdown that way. So the more plays you can score without changing the play, the better. And that cover three setup's the same in Madden. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna move on to cover four, starting off with cover four mats. Match and cover four, like cover four quarters or cover four palms. They're gonna react the same way. The key to this play really is the wheel route, the line of scrimmage. So I'm gonna, that's gonna be the only route I'm not gonna change here. I'm gonna put the X receiver on a post. You can custom stem it up or down if you like, and then put the Y receiver on a streak. And you'll see how this concept here is gonna make sure this X receiver gets open every single time. Like I said, if you wanna extend that with a custom stem up a little bit, maybe five yards, it'll make sure that it gets over those other safeties a lot easier. In Madden though, just put the A receiver on a streak and you'll see how this a lot of times will get this B route pretty much uncovered because this uh, linebacker here has to check the, uh, the the receiver coming across him and he basically won't get back in time for a very easy one play touchdown. And that can also sometimes have success in college, but let's go ahead and let's continue to uh, cover four regular. We're gonna have to pick cover four drop. So for this play here, you got a couple different ways to do this. The one thing that's not negotiable is you have to put the B receiver on a streak and you're also gonna wanna pass block the running back. You don't wanna have him on that play action. He's, a, he's much less effective. Now you have a couple different choices. You can put the tight end on a corner route and then custom stem him down or you can motion them out and put them on a comeback route. Those are gonna be your options. It's really up to you. If you motion them out, it can give the play away a little bit more than if you just put them on a corner route, but that's really up to you. So we'll go ahead and we'll do the best version, which is gonna be motioning them out. That'll hold that cornerback down the most. And then we just have to buy some time in the pocket as we're gonna just roll out here. You can see how this, uh, that cornerback's nowhere to be found. And if you get a catch and run, it's a one play touchdown. It's really that simple. So that's all the zone coverages, but man coverage are probably even easier. So let's go ahead and pick man zero blitz to start man coverages. For cover zero, you got a couple different options, but you have to put the tight end on a route. So whatever man beating route you want, a drag's gonna be fine. And you'll notice that the Y receiver is gonna get open once he crosses the field for a very easy catch and run. If you wanna put the running back on a pattern, it'll also take that safety away. But the B receiver has the ability to get open as well if he's covered by a safety or a linebacker. As you can see here, he turns up field and he typically gets open, even though he's being covered by one of the best safeties in the game. And that same route works really well when it comes to defenses like cover one hole. So let's go and pick that. And it'll work even better against a cover one press, but you'll notice that the B receiver, once again, will get open once he turns up the field and the safety is typically nowhere near to make a play. And that same concept works in college as both the Y and B receiver can get open against cover one, but against cover two, man, it's even better. And just like I was saying against cover one, if they're pressing or any pressing defensive back, you're gonna notice how the B receiver is gonna get open that much easier. Is this B, is this B cornerback is gonna come down and try to press, and you can see how the receiver just gets wide open over the top. Now, as far as getting him past the safety, that's really gonna be the key here. Uh, if you put the A tight end on a 10 yard out route once again, and motion him out though, that can really help this X receiver get open over the middle. As you can see here, he's gonna split the safeties very easily now. So you have two options once again, as you pretty much have two options against just about every single defense in the game. Other than that, I'll have some more uh, gameplay of me using this in gameplay with Alabama, which I put out about two weeks ago, I'll pop it on my screen. So if you wanna see this live and direct against a live opponent, just click the link on screen. And that's it, thanks for watching, man, my shit out. Need more help or just wanna show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.